Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Traders Frontiers. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode two. Uh, amazingly, the first video got way better response than I thought it would, so we're back. Take a look at our contracts here. So this first contract here, Mysterious Abduction, uh, is going to require us to do some spying. And that's part of the card game, the five card card game, five card stud. And those card games, you really want to have certain talents to deal with them. Uh, we have four years and 18 weeks to deal with this, so I'm not in a hurry to go deal with that one. The other one is a little more straightforward. It's just take a box somewhere. <laughs> so I like that. It's a data cube. Uh, we'll do that. And that'll earn us a little bit of cash. In the meantime, we have people to level up. So our doctor and combat medic can go up. Now, I gave her a level in combat medic so she could have access to the level one skills. But And you get plus two doctor every time you get a level in combat medic. But you get an extra one when you go straight doctor. And you want that doctor skill for your talents because you'll notice um, like field surgery 20 plus doctor skill so the higher it is the more valuable this is to you um, this is a good one cleansing purge uh, in crew combat it removes all debuffs and it, it's just another heal restores 10 plus 10 doctor but so it does less than field surgery but it also restores morale which is really important because if your character's morale drops too low even if it has initiative to keep fighting, it'll stop for that whole turn. Uh, and that's a bad thing. And then E-Suture, this heals the whole entire team for a little bit. Um, so these are great ones to have. And uh, I like to just get them as soon as I can. Because you're going to need them. So this is my pilot and bounty hunter. Talk about this in a second. What I wanted to do here is bring up my... Uh, officers she's the shock trooper and my quartermaster and he's the bounty hunter and by playing the game uh i have several captains going at the same time by the way as i learn how to play this darn game because there's so much to it he's the bounty hunter he's going to be in the back row and what i learned is that this class synergizes really well with the exo scout i in one of my other games i have the shock trooper and the Exoscout is my dual class for combat. And it doesn't work as well because some of the Exoscout skills that are really nice require you to fire from the back row. So uh, we'll be giving him, uh, when he wants another class, uh, we'll give him the Exoscout, I think. The Exoscout does have one skill that works from close range, but it's not as important as all the ones that work from long range. <laughs> so when we train him for his third job, Bounty Hunter, Pilot, let's go to... Exoscout, two rifles plus one evasion plus one explore. Uh, so that helps. He's gonna, these two things work really well together. And then for talents, we're not gonna worry about his bounty hunter talents uh, that work in space, except for blood game. Uh, we may end up using this quite a bit. It just depends. Depends on how we can get our ship kitted out. <clears throat> Um, but he's got a bunch of other really good ones. This is a great one. It's just a rifle attack, but the successful attack buffs yourself with 20% ranged accuracy, 20% ranged damage, and 20% armor piercing for two turns. It's easy. It uses the initiative of the gun for 10, so it doesn't cost anything extra. Um, Bio Agent Fleshette is also really nice. Minus 25 to all damage for the person that you hit, and then plus 20 bio damage poison for three turns. Uh, these are kind of like my go-to's for starting. So I'm going to go with Steadfast Aim first and pick that up for him. And then we go back to leveling. There's nobody left to level. So now we can move on. And navigate with our fuel poor ship. <laughs> this ship has such a nice little upgrade path for it though. I like it quite a bit. Um, here we go. So this is going somewhere else, but what's this one? This has got to be, <clears throat> it'll tell you. Oh, mysterious abduction. So this is the spying one. So let's go take a look at it and see how dangerous it is for us. 
and an explorer is going to stop us. Retreat without getting any closer. Don't lose any rep. So we're out of there. That's the thing I always look for. Failed a doctor test. All right. So even though the target is over here, you want to press this. This is your mission. Powerful and unexpected ship. So this is the first reason to have cards that you can come up with a whole bunch of talents that give you options for dealing with this cards like re-roll the card or get rid of a card or replace the card with something better we don't have any of those skills for spying right now and we got four years to accumulate them so i'm not gonna touch that uh but what i will do is uh actually we got a failed doctor attempt so somebody got hurt we've got full services over here so we'll uh, heal two crew members and pay them spicely for somebody. Now, um, somebody in the comments in the first video mentioned that I should talk about this, the C rating over here. Um, it has to do with what you're paying for the fuel. So if it's an A+, plus, you're paying cheaper for your fuel. But here's my opinion on this. Fuel is really a matter of necessity and geography. And, and I'll tell this story. Have you ever driven across the United States of America before? Like all the way across it. I've had to do it twice for moves. And I had to do it in the age right when, right before electronic navigation systems were becoming a thing. Like I had one, but it was one of the first ones. So it was not very reliable. And uh, it's a task to drive all the way across the country. Because here's the thing. When you're crossing states like Nebraska and Iowa, especially the Midwest, the Midwest is a little strange compared to where I grew up. In the Midwest, small towns are off the highway, sometimes by as long as like three miles. So you'll see a sign that says gas next right, and you actually got to get off the highway <laughs> a substantial distance and drive into this little tiny podunk town that has gas pumps that still don't take credit cards. And if you're cruising in there at like 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, and the place is closed and you're running on fumes, it's a little bit freaky. Wh which, by the way, happened to me. Um, so we're going to acknowledge a hail to this person because they have good, we have good rep with them. And so when you're doing that kind of traveling, especially in that era, you know, I think we've become more gasoline proficient now with more gas stations right off the highway. But going through the Midwest, man, it's like as soon as my tank got to half full, I was looking for a place to pull off. Like, where's the next place I can actually get gas at? Um, and that's kind of the way I approach it with this game. I'm not going to sit in this system and hunt around for the absolute best price of gas when I need fuel. <laughs> And my my crew is going to take a morale hit seriously and then rebel and cause a mutiny if I don't have fuel. So because of the cost of the fuel and the huge sums of money you're dealing with in a few years time, I don't worry about it. I just get gas in the most um, effective place to get it. So that's that's my philosophy on that. Yeah, you can pay attention to grade if you want to. I don't. All right. So we have targets here. Return shipping. Public spectacle gives us a reputation boost. Always go for those here. Um, again, there are talents that can boost this, uh, and we're going to get one eventually. So this gives us rep with Steel Song and gives us rep with Drevin Bear, which is really nice. So here he is. He's back here. We're going to heal our crew, pay their wages. We're going to buy fuel. There's an A-plus here, so you can see it's dirt cheap. Uh, we have a, an item to repair that took four weeks. Uh, oh, and here's here's something really cool. So you can see uh, we have a couple of talents that allow us to find the traits of other people. So we found out that Michael von Zurich has the righteous trait. And if you go to your crew here, Michael von Zurich, uh, wherever the hell he is in this. Oh, here he is. So you go now and you can see his traits. He doesn't have any more hidden traits. We figured them all out. He's righteous. Plus two strength. Plus 20 armor piercing. Minus 10 melee defense. 
a sort of commanding and convinced of own authority. It gains a charisma percentage chance to increase reputation bonuses by 25% whenever on patrol. This is going to be huge. We don't want to lose this guy. <laughs> That's actually really good. We're, I've... I've seen the power of patrol. Unfortunately, patrol takes a really long time. That's one of the things I kind of wish they would change a little bit in the game. Uh, but but patrols are one of the uh, one of the few ways you have to manage reputation that I've found. Um, and it's it's the card game again. <laughs> so you got to have a lot of skills. Uh, Insatiable drives to travel can only be sated by new experiences. Gain five to ten morale when orbiting a new world. Okay. Well, alrighty then. Uh, that's nice for him. So, back here, we got one jump to go. Oh, that's the that's the spine thing. So, can we get any more things going on here? Okay. So, what you want to do periodically, you sit here wondering about missions, is take a look at your rep. You can see we're at zero neutral on everybody. Trade war, Javat is winning by 19 points. Um, Javat and Kadar. Or, you know what? I was thinking about this last night. <clears throat> it's spelled like radar except with a C. So is it Kadar? I don't know. It's To say it, to pronounce it as Kadar seems like there should be two Ds in it. So maybe I should call it Kadar. Um, <laughs> it's... I'm always bad with this kind of stuff. If there some, isn't somebody speaking it, then I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so the Kedar Syndicate, minus four rep. Um, you can... This is going to tank as you do the story. But you can actually keep it under control for a while by doing some patrols. Um, and for instance, I'll show you what that mechanic looks like while we're here. So here's your patrol button. And let's always make sure everybody's leveled before you do anything because people might have some kind of bonus. Like, oh, I got an idea. I know what I was going to do. Here, let's fix this. All right, so I fixed the captain name. I mean, come on. You have to. Here's the question that I have. Did the Treese brothers who made this game, is one of them the artist who did all this art in the game? Or did they contract that out to somebody else? Because I could see the two of them just doing all the programming. Because there's so much work with the programming here. And the systems and the way everything works together. If one or both of them did the art in this game, I'm really impressed. It's pretty awesome. Alright, let's take a look at his jobs. Uh, Commander, military officer... Wait a minute. What else does he have? He's got captain, military officer, and commander. Okay, he doesn't have any more jobs yet. We eventually want to pick up diplomat. Um, in fact, I might as well just pick it up now. You're going to want this negotiate. There's some negotiate traits in here that you're going you're gonna to want. At least I'm going to want them. Uh, so we'll take a look at this. So here would be one of the first questions that I would have for anybody who knows. Militant patrol. When patrolling a system, increase rewards by 10% plus your command skill. Does that include reputation rewards? Because if it does, that's like the most important thing. And I would really want this skill right away. Um, as it is, he's got some really good stuff here like this. So you can see right here, no crew member of the type knows this exact talent, but our crew knows two talents of this type, meaning there's two other people who can pass who have a save for failed tactics skills. Um, and that's probably navigators, I imagine. I can't remember exactly who it is. but And of course the other one is pass a failed command test in any situation and nobody has any of those saves so we should grab that same thing with the you know the negotiation one we'll have to do anyway back to the map oh back to let's see orbit so we could do this patrol our, our rep is minus four we don't have any save cards oh we have we have two save cards okay so here here's the magic card right here Plus 6 to 12 Kadar Syndicate Rep. That's the card you want. <laughs> the problem is getting it. And the problem is it doesn't show up every time. And so you get these other cards that can possibly have much smaller reputation gains. And then you have to fight a ship or deal with the ship and things like that. Um, after doing this for a couple of captains now and playing 
pretty deep into the game. This process of patrolling and trying to get your rep up can take forever. And everything in the game is time locked. There's time limits on everything. All these missions, and it may sound like a long time, four years to do a mission. It's not. It goes by just like that. Because reputation is so big in this game. And it's so important to everything you do. I would love to see it changed slightly. <clears throat> I would love to see this card pop up as one of the five cards every single time that a new hand comes up. Because this card doesn't show up very often. So your odds of getting there are even smaller. <laughs> and yet, that's kind of the whole point of patrolling. <laughs> so... It just feels like a whole lot of work for very little gain. And if this card showed up, because it's a one in five chance, if this card showed up even every other hand or something, it's just, it doesn't show up very much. And then watch, we're not going to get it. Um, we're going to get one of these other four things because the chance is so small. Now you can go in here and you can re-roll a risk card to be something else. That's, you want to do that to get really r bad of really, really bad things like that. Like, uh, huge ships that you know you can't fight and stuff like that. In this case, you know, see there it goes. The card that we wanted, gone. Now, this is not too bad. We struck a blow in a conflict that, so that Adam Driver's protector trait has increased our reputation gain by plus four. So that's cool. Um, that was nice. We get a bonus there. Our actions have added plus eight to the conflict score for this and we have gained nine reps. So, we gained nine rep there. That was nice. <laughs> But I've not seen that very often. I've seen a whole lot of me clicking and watching all these cards go by to get 10 rep after a half an hour of clicking cards. It's like, oh man. Until something really awful shows up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of patrolling because I want to get I want to get this rep up and keep it up. Okay, so here we go again. The Kadar Syndicate against Clan Javit. We have gained 12 rep with the Kadar, and we have lost 3 with Clan Javit, so now you have to go patrol for Clan Javit. But still, this is not bad. Oh, and so then a Bounty Hunter ship. So if I don't want to deal with the Bounty Hunter ship, and I don't, <clears throat> I'll do this. Fuel and turns. Explorer ship, rumor, damage to components can be fixed. It's costly, but it can be fixed. Okay, to, see, it takes two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm thinking about Arnold Schwarzenegger and Total Recall. Two weeks! Uh, you guys, if you watch my channel... If, a bunch of you Star Trader people are new, I'm sure. I will throw movie references at you all day long, so just get used to it. Merchant ship? No. Strike a blow in the conflict. So we get more rep. We're losing rep with Clan Java, but we're getting more rep here. This is not too... This is... See, the minute that I complain about the system, <laughs> it starts to work. This is just like having a programming problem and going to stackoverflow.com and typing it in after hours and hours and hours of not knowing how to fix it. And no sooner do I type it in and hit submit than all of a sudden I find the answer on my own. It's like two seconds later and then I'm like, oh god, I left... Why now I posted that? Everybody thinks I'm a moron. Here's the answer right here. Sometimes, like back early in my career when I used Stack Overflow a lot because I didn't know anything, I would just, I knew that posting the Stack Overflow was going to get me the answer probably by finding it on my own. <laughs> it's kind of like a card game here. I'd be like, eh, I'll probably find it on my own before, I before somebody posts the answer. It's just the act of posting it that causes it to work, so the same kind of thing here. <clears throat> Learn a new rumor. Nine crew have gained 22 experience. All right. Death among the crew. No saving talent ready. New contact introduction though. Ooh. So we'll use this card. And this does what? It re-rolls a risk card. You have to hope it doesn't re-roll the same card. I've seen it do that. Um, okay, so we're out of fuel. Oh, you can't. You can get it here, though. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay. And, but there's also an unexpected ship, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to land. I'm going to buy fuel at the rate of C spice. 
My crew's gonna spend it a week in the spy cell, longer than a week. Two weeks, making sure everybody's happy. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so there's that. That helps get that rep up. And, of course, by doing that, everywhere that the Kadar are will be able to land, which is fantastic. All right, back to here. So now we're three years, 39 weeks for the spy one. And uh, at Fane Court, expires soon, navigate. Here comes the merchant ship. We can retreat without losing any rep. Failed ship ops. Alright. Heal. Six member of the crews from our failed ship ops thing. Goons. Alright, let's talk to the prince here. We should discuss further work for him. Oh. Trade. Uh, you're going to want these. Now, trade in this game can be a little frustrating, but I totally understand why it works the way it does. By buying that trade permit... It only authorizes us to trade within the Steel Song. You're going to need seven other trade permits if you want to trade with everybody. Uh, it's a little frustrating when some of these story missions ask you to go find something and you find it, but you can't buy it because you don't have the right trade permit. Uh, it's, it's a little frustrating that a trade permit doesn't work for multiple factions. <laughs> but I get it. I totally get it. I understand what they're doing here. They're, they're making a deeply complex game it's it's a big spider web and they want it that way and I totally get it I totally respect that uh, introductions for contract for contacts four jumps exploration missions explore recruits oh that's what I want okay I want an explorer recruit story missions are going to ask you to do some exploring and again it's five card stud and if you can have some traits to help against that and explorers have a couple nice ones i like to have a couple people on my ship that aren't doing ship stuff that aren't doing piloting and gunnery and navigation and all that stuff i like to have like an explorer and a smuggler and a spy they have some really useful stuff <clears throat> all right welcome to my court star trader all right <laughs> Does it not look like Adam Driver? Am I missing something here? Is it just me? I mean, this is hilarious. Come on, this is funny. As you, I li and by the way, I love Adam Driver. That's a huge reason. I, I love that guy. Oh, man. As a veteran myself, seeing somebody who's ex-military make it in Hollywood and get to be Kylo Ren in Star Wars, I was like, bow down. You are awesome. <clears throat> I need you to escort Arbiter Brokstrom. Okay. Yeah, so it's... Assume you've heard by now the claims against my daughter. Yes, we have. Such a circus. So, we have to go help him. Then you suspect the entire legal case and bombing is a farce to defame your daughter. There'll be a blood feud. Alright. Well, what is this vendetta you speak of? The galaxy's been torn apart. The governmental structures that were put in place by the Prophet... Shailun are no longer working. <laughs> At any rate, do not malign Shailun. Hyperwarp has reconnected all of our people. Yeah, kind of like the internet. Like, there's an allegory here, right? There's a metaphor for what's going on with the internet and everybody's devices and everybody's staring at their phone. Those There are those who gain power from Discord. Not me. I don't. I try to stay away from that app, by the way. I know some people have already offered me, hey, there's a Discord for Star Traders. It's a very invasive application. That's When it's active in my tray, it's constantly dinging me. And I can't get it to not notify me about stuff. And I can't get it to not make the audible dings. I've tried everything everything in the configuration i cannot make discord not be annoying so i just don't use it <laughs> i really wish it was better because it is really useful to get in there and chat with people and be like hey what about this but it's just i i was be recording videos like this and you'd hear it ding 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 pretty soon it sounds like neil peart man it's like okay stop so yeah there's that so he's given us a mission um to Garrick Pillars, which we're gonna do. And I'm really going off in this episode talking about a bunch of random stuff, but that's kinda 
how my channel operates at times. Um, what we'd like to do here is get a couple more missions that might go to Garrick Pillars if we can find them first. So in this system, we have these contacts. Uh, we have her. She's a weapons dealer, and we only have 10 rep with her. We'd like that to be more. And we've got the, our ex-bounty hunter and our military commander. So we'll check them all out before we go to Garrick Pillars, because bounty hunter. We're going to bribe this person to get out of war with them. We don't want them to disparage our reputation. Sometimes it takes three bribes because they're really greedy. If, if it takes more than three, it's not going to work. It's been my experience. So we'll land and talk to our weapons dealer and say, what do you have? Oh, she doesn't have anything. Just weaponry. Okay, she doesn't have any missions. All right. I need to remember that. I'm really bad at remembering stuff. Uh, Arbiter Neutrality. Okay. Go back to our people. Ex-Bounty Hunter and the Military Commander who has really good stuff. A merchant ship. I love the ship designs, by the way. I have to say this. Uh, the ship designs in this game are pretty fantastic. Uh, I feel like the Treese Brothers were in my head when I saw these sh so many of these ships. I was like, oh man. These guys pulled this stuff straight out of my brain. It's really cool. I give them a ton of credit for that. Heal members, spicely, really expensive stuff here. Chewing through my profits. Military commander. So give me a good mission that will help me. Oh, steel song rank. You're going to want to get these. Want to get to like at least level three. Nope, level two right now. Okay, there's duel of assassins between Syndicate Rychart. Uh, with death warrants issued on each size. This will increase smuggler princess. Will, yes, I would like to help with her. What is this? Where does this go to? Garrick Pillars. What do we have to do? We have to blockade. Oh, again, we don't have any cards. We don't have any help with the cards. So we're going to take a look at what else he has. An unknown trait. What is this? total of 87 we have to do what blockade that that's the blockade one and this is also a blockade okay this is this is in the system we're in though no hyperwave jumps we have to blockade get this thing take it to here it's pretty easy let's do that one i mean it's not going to be easy because it's blockade that's going to be the hard part but and then the last contact is is it princess she's in the same system and so is uh, Steel Song Weapons Dealer. Oh, we just went there. The Weapons Dealer doesn't have any missions for me. Okay, let's do this blockade thing then. Let's talk to her though. What kind of missions does she have? An edict. Hunter, ready to purchase. We will be able to accept missions to serve, capture death warrants. That's what I really want to do because I'm a bounty hunter. Alright, missions. Duel of Assassins. Hates Templars. Wing Vet. This will work against someone. So, what's this mission? Two jumps. Tell me it goes to Gary Pillars. It goes to Fifth Divide. And we have to X Bounty Hunter. Oh, yes. Okay, so here's the problem with this. Go to our ship, and we don't have any room for prisoners yet. So, while I really want to do that mission, we don't have prisoner. <laughs> we have to rearrange the ship. Um, which really... Well, so here's the thing. I'm going to I'm going to show you this. Go back. Upgrade the ship. Now, you can change out some of your cargo for prisoners. Prison cells. Uh prison ward, but you can see how expensive it is. So that's that's one of the problems. Uh we could take a weapon off. I'm not I'm not uh, real hip to do that at this point in the game. For prison cells here, and this would cost us 22.7. Mm, could we get out of here without these torpedoes? Let's let's take a look at that. Because then what do we have? We have this big bomber, which is the thing that you really end up using. And these. This fires at long range. That fires into three. This fires into three and two. 
either have to stay at range and try to bomb the crap out of stuff or rush it and do crew combat. I'd like to have that prison. That would be... It's either, Okay, so this one is going to do 31 to 70 damage. <clears throat> and this one does 21 to 60 damage. And can we get a prison here? Does, does this allow me to get a prison? Prison cell. Detains one prisoner for 8,000. Detains one prisoner with armor and jump cost. Detains one prisoner for shielding and jump cost. I'll do the cheap option. I'm going to do this. I've never done this configuration before, but I want to do this. Because <clears throat> I want to start bounty hunting now. So, let's see. Yes, and this is in fifth divide. Okay. All right. Let's make sure. Fuel up. Good to go. Characters. Shock Trooper. So the Shock Trooper can train another job, and her third job is going to be Soldier. She has Soldier has a whole bunch of good skills that uh, that synergize really well with the Shock Trooper. And the Shock Trooper has some pretty cool stuff. So the very like second, first or second thing I like to take again, like the Swordsman, Retaliation. Great attack allows you to re-attack anything that attacks you. Um, and it has a 50% chance after each attack for it to stop. And it lasts for three turns. So it's it's just awesome. <laughs> it's a really great starter skill. I love that with them and the swordsman. It's just it's just excellent. So now what we have is in the in the we can try the blockade stuff right now. Remember we got a year and forty eight weeks for it. The uh, arbiter neutrality, we have to go to Garrett Pil Pillars within a year. So we're gonna not leave She's gonna she's gonna hang with us on the ship, but we gotta not neglect her. <laughs> All right, let's go try this blockade stuff, shall we? Really hard. I find this stuff really hard to do with without the cards, without the saving talents. So blockade. Oh, and right there, there's the one I don't want. Minus rep. Oh man. Okay. Well. Maybe we can fix it later with the patrol. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Recover ship and fuel. It recovered a lot of fuel. Hostile bounty hunter. Oh, man. Hostile zealot. Nah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay, let's go do some other stuff. We need money to upgrade our ship. <laughs> so we'll do that one later. Arbiter neutrality will get you. That's in Garrick Pillars, and then we can go do this prisoner thing, because this one is in Fifth Divide. One of the things, when you're accepting a mission... There's a little button right here with an arrow, and you can click on it to see the galactic map. I really wish they'd put it on this screen, because I hate having to do this and click back out to go, because I'm just not used to where everything is. So we'll go up to... Um, do we want to go do this first? And then go to Garrick Pillars? We're going to get experience, which will help us with the bounty hunting, so let's go to Garrick Pillars first. And this, that ship looks awesome. <laughs> just looks... So many of their ships just look badass. Uh, I'm going to stop here and get some gas. <laughs> Crossing the Midwest. Only because I have this... Uh, the ship that isn't great. I don't have a lot of fuel at But the cool thing is, when you reconfigure this ship, it turns into a pretty nice ship. For the early mid part of the game <clears throat> at least for me it does the way I want to play navigators careful now military this is the high wind military research base was parked you can see the debris field mysterious abductions now we have to spy oh no we're in this <laughs> bummer death among the crew no life saving talent well cross your fingers Okay. Oh, we got so lucky. Completed our spy assignment. Our payment is due at a later time. We get three rep with Steel Song and minus four with the Kedar. So now we got to go to the next waypoint. Which is where exactly? Where are we going next? 7 AU. We got to go back to the Hyper Hyperion loop. Okay. We'll do that. Because this will get us some money.
Thanks for bringing me this far, Star Trader. From here, you have to choose just how deeply you want to get involved. When you attempt to complete a mission step, very often a skill test is required. This will be used to summon skill of myself, my officers and crew, as well as one of my attributes. If anyone in these crew has a talent that helps us automatically pass a skill test, such as command, these talents also work in missions. Any mission option that has an automatic pass talent guaranteeing its success is marked with a white saving talent over the icon. That's always good to know. If we lack a talent to automatically pass negotiate to a command, we might consider retraining an officer to ensure success. All right. So saving talent, light escort, will go. Days have passed. The Arbiter spent most of the time in closed-door meetings with the Judge and the Princess. She has been tight-lipped. In the end, the entire proceedings dragged on for a week. Luckily, we're being well paid for our time. In the final meeting, we got a chance to hear it directly from Princess Cha. Her presence is so critical to the case. If she wasn't here, you'd worry that political agendas would get in the way. Oh, they will. <laughs> Favors would be called in. The law would be trampled upon. Hmm, sounds familiar. We need to make another stop on our tour. Highwind Orbital was no regular station. It was a military research facility. Meaning that you had surveillance and security systems to protect against such an attack. To prevent a bombing from within? No. Valencia Fane slipped under our radar with a white flag. But those systems captured copious proof of her deadly crime. Not to mention her obvious motive. She came to destroy the technology the Fanes claimed they wanted to purchase. In the bombing, we also lost one of the most brilliant minds the galaxy has ever seen. We believe that Aldo, who held the position of chief scientist on the high wind, may have been her primary target. Estelle is glaring again. Time to return to your ship, Captain. I don't think she liked the princess telling me that stuff. She's not lying. She holds damning evidence. You think Valencia bombed the high wind? Why would she? To kill this Aldo character? Aldo Nova? We're not done yet. You must take me to the world that the high wind was orbiting. All right, so can pass the test. We got 60 experience across the crew. We got paid 6,000. We got rep, and we lose 10 more with the KR Syndicate. That's probably a good thing we did some of that patrolling earlier. Heal crew members, pay them their wages, repair the ship, spice leave. All right, and we got some experience. Our doctor. Train her in doctor. And our commander. Train him in command. All right, now, back to here. All right, so now we're going to jaunt over to here. An Arbiter of Neutrality. Do any year. We have to do more spying. Oh, no, and there's two death among crew cards. Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. I don't have any saves for spying. This is awful. Oh, God. Thank God. They just went right off of there. Smuggler ship. All right. That helped. Now we got to deal with this again. Oh, no. More Kadar rep that we're going to lose. No. And there goes... Oh, of course it is. Yes. Of course we have to lose more rep with them. Dang it. Death among the crew just keeps showing up in a powerful ship. Oh, this is ugly. Oh. Barg Bloodbane, a level 5 electronics tech, nearly died in an accident. Nearly died. Death save of 95% prevented the imminent fatality. But now he's hurt. Oh, that's awful. Okay. Well, well we still have a chance to heal him. No medical services. Oh, rats. Okay. Escort the Arbiter. Negotiation skill plus the Captain's charisma will join the arbitration. This is a low risk option that will mitigate our reputation loss. We get 15% bonus payment here if we pass. It does not look like the news was good, Arbiter. I hoped it would be something we could do. Somehow the princess would be bending or breaking Shelan Law to persecute Valencia unfairly, but it is not the case. The evidence against Valencia is overwhelming and damning. They have not hesitated to share that with me. Hmm, what can be done? Nothing. 
I cannot help a lifelong friend because I'm so righteous. Yeah, right. About that. <laughs> I cannot help the family. One last step is to return Princess to the court. All right. So we failed the negotiation charisma test. Ooh, bad. Uh, the outcome has not done much to help our reputation with either Steel Song. <laughs> Get paid 6,000. Plus one rep with Steel Song, plus one rep with Callaghan, minus eight rep with the Kadar. Oh, everything went bad on there. So that's, that's awful. So we could have kept spying and it might have helped our cause, but that was getting risky. <clears throat> All right. Well, before we go anywhere, let's take care of our... I mean, we failed Chip Ops test, so... Oh, my gosh. We just are sucking right here. This is one of the worst starts I've had. As far as cash flow goes, man, I'm really jammed up here. I think... Uh, I think things are a little more costly the higher you go on the difficulty level. That's my guess, anyway. Captain, this man insists on speaking to you. Many welcomes. Alright, what a nice ship you have there, Mr. Smuggler. Uh, I need to disappear for a while and dump this cargo. Crates are packed with high-powered explosives. Great to sell at tradeways. I can offer you 25 units for 4,000 credits right now. You load them and I go poof. Smuggler Davis is offering an excellent deal explosive average at 625 a unit. So at 625 a unit for 25 units, you're looking at roughly about 15,000. If you can unload them, of course. Um, quickly pay the man and get his cargo containers in our ship. If we can find an independent planet, we can sell them there. So we could exchange 4,000. He's gone. Um, heal my crew members. Buy fuel. Repair one item. Okay. Arbiter neutrality. Troubling return. We bring neither happy tidings. So. Greetings to you both. I am Valencia, the one who's in trouble. I only wish that I could help, but she can't. Yeah, well aware of my commitments to Shailun La. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get mad. She's about to be feed you to those Kadar dogs. Well, you know, the blood feud was coming. I did not bomb that cursed facility. By the flag, this is a farce. It is. But they're going to need you to prove it. So. She's going to have to recuse herself. He's still mad. Unreasonably so. He was expecting a favor from a judicial person who's supposed to be neutral. That's kind of a dick move, actually. So. Yeah. It was a good moment to excuse ourselves from the palace. None of us wanted to be within Caligan's striking distance for a moment longer. We have gained major experience reward. That's nice. Well, Arbiter, what will we do next? I must recuse myself, because I told secrets. I will find another star trader to give me a ride back to my holdings at Alien. Alright, and what will you do once you arrive? The legal mess has shown me one thing. The faction accords aren't working for our people anymore. There's a feud coming between the Fane and the Car. Be long, deep, and bloody. Not be the end of their attempt on Val's life. So, <clears throat> she's seen the... Uh, political spectrum here political machinations fail two more royal families locked into death grip of a feud thousands of lives years of instability and war blood spilled on both sides rest assured Val dies Caligan will seek royal blood in return there is much to do I must return and finish the negotiations I started our people can no longer wait for the united coalition so I would ask for your help if I could I know you may wish to stay here and help Princess Prince Fane see this through. Arbiter Brockstrom has added an offer to our mission list to join her on Ryline, where she needs help advocating for the amendments to form the United Coalition. I'm sure that we will find Prince Fane has calmed. If we should return his court. All right, until we meet again. I hope that you will consider joining me. I can see that you are thinking of helping Fane. You must be careful of the court's politics. All right, so you can go deal with her. 
or you can deal with the royal family. Now, potentially you could try to deal with them both, but in my experience, you just don't have enough time. <laughs> Arbor de Estelle has given us an insider intel on the Highwind legal proceedings. They will end in six years. They may end before then, actually. Uh, if we wish to help Fane, we must return to the court and meet with Callaghan. So, you can do that. You get paid 12k. You get rep with them. Pair of cruise wages. Spicely. So, you can go talk to him. Uh, and he'll be somewhat calmed down. Let me apologize for my outburst. I should have known that Estelle would value her political neutrality over helping my family. That's her job, dummy. Even after all these years. I hate that people try to use favors for things. I really hate that. I hate it in real life, so seeing anybody do it in a game makes me want to punch them. It's like, no, no. That's her job, is to be neutral. That's the point of the law. <laughs> Dork. All right. Aiton Cha holds compelling evidence against your daughter. We have seen some of it ourselves. I can see you're not done fighting, Prince. No, far from it. Valencia's life is extinct today, but that won't be the end of it. Prince Aiton's ambitions go far beyond that. This will be a trying time for the Fane bloodline. I hope that you will stick by us. There's much work to be done. The case is far from settled. So, this is the whole court. She's the one being accused of this whole thing. And she's. I only wish I had smelled the stink earlier. What were you doing at the Highwind? For years, our family had been trying to research, reach an agreement with the Aiton Char over a technology exchange. And she goes on to tell you about this. Did you bomb it? I love it. Getting straight to the point. Give my word that I am not responsible. However, I could believe that a traitor aboard my ship, the Medusa, snuck multiple explosives onto the Orbital Station. If that ends up being the case, I had no knowledge of it at the time. So, you suspect a traitor among your crew. Far past suspicion at this point. After the bombing, a crew started to jump ship. So, they are all suspects. Callaghan has people looking for them, but his hands are tied. He has to play by the rules, else risk the case going up in flames. We could track down that many people, even if we tried. I'm thinking of one man in particular. His name is Caleb Damore. Calbe. Calbe. I like Caleb better. <clears throat> we'll just call him Caleb. The Independent Revolutionaries. The one and only terrorists. Tell me everything and we'll find your man. And you can, you know, if you want to go into the story. I don't want to spoil, like, too much of the story for people who actually haven't seen this. Because um, there might be people who are going to buy the game after watching this playthrough. So I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to kind of do the Cliff Notes version of the story here as we go along. Because this branches off. This is kind of what's cool. They've done a pretty good job with the story and then it branches off. And you can't do everything. Um, so choosing to side with one particular kind of person will lock you out from other parts of the story. So... It gives you a different way to play it every time you play through as well, which is pretty cool. So getting Kalabe into your custody would be the first step. I will pay you handsomely to help prove my innocence. I want to do her story this time. Um, and so it's 10 jumps to the Dark Cluster. I have three years time to do it. So we're going to accept this mission. And we're going to try very hard to do that for her. Um, court missions... He has this, and so this is for the Prince. 4% bonus for your rank of Adept to rank 2 with Steelsong. Uh, we will travel to Steelsong Prime to negotiate with the High Princess Sagea Steel. The Fang lineage is at risk, so all we have to do is go glad hand some people. Hell yeah. Let's go do that. It's, we need We need money right now. <laughs> we need cash, because <laughs> we're going to have to upgrade this ship. So, all right, time to train jobs for this guy. We're going to train him in a bounty hunter and exoscout. He's never going to get any points in piloting for us. He's just going to be a he's going to be a menace on the battlefield. And the same thing with our assassin here. Assassin, engineer, swordsman. Uh, so she will never have any engineering skill. Uh, we might get a, give her a couple of talents, but mostly she's a fighter for us. Alright, so, let's go look here. We have a bunch of things to do here. Um, 
to see years snagging blockade we need some spy stuff we need some blockade stuff uh, we'd like to go get that guy actually it'd be pretty cool chasing suspicion dark cluster all right so this is the short one we can go right here oh and there's one right there what's this one retreat as they are independents we will suffer no reputation loss oh yeah and we need to find oh here we go we need to go here anyways here's why we need to go here there's an independent right here <laughs> which uh if we want to sell cargo here we go no permit required explosives there's 24k right there Oof. that's nice that's better than the 15 on an average chasing suspicion mm, okay so uh, none of these are very good. Bribed entry. To reach our tipping our hand, we'll need to pay. No, we don't want to bribe. Smuggler is not expecting a visit. Move quickly and stealthily. We should be able to catch him on one of our visits to the spice hall. Doesn't feel good that Amat knew we were coming. Someone spooked her badly enough that she just made a run for it. Luckily, Vala confirmed that all of her smuggling operations are through this system. So she can't have gone far. It's supposed to blockade and the system's over it and wait for the spotter ship. Great, so now we have to blockade. Ugh. We've been paid 40k though. <laughs> Thank you. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I need that money. Okay. So, blockade at the system orbit. It's chasing suspicion. Oh no. Hostile zealot. No, oh, no, we're gonna get the hostile zealot, aren't we? Oh no, we're just gonna lose her up. Uh, okay. Hostile pirates. Unexpected ship. Oof. It's gonna hurt me. Go mission! Yay! Awesome. <laughs> okay, we got lucky. Amat Zir, you've made yourself one hard woman to track down. Captain, you've been quite groovy dogging at me. Who warned you that we were coming? I received an anonymous message stating you'd be looking for me and that you didn't mean me well. Anonymous? Don't lie to me, Zir. It's no lie. Someone took me off. But now, you've caught me. I hope we can end this peaceably. I know that Valencia would want no harm done to me. How do you know Valencia sent us? The anonymous message. It also mentioned you'd be looking for Calbe de Moor. By the flag. Who would have that knowledge? Someone very close to Valencia. Well then, Amat. Help us find Calbe. This can end without further trouble for either of us. And we won't report you to the authorities for working with the Hunna. You wouldn't. We would. I see. One of my smugglers gave him a ride recently. He was headed out to a quiet stretch of wilderness world to keep his head down for a while. I can only imagine it has to do with the time he put in on Valencia's ship. I can imagine it had to do with his part in the bombing of the high wind. Oh no, no. Kelba had nothing to do with that. And neither did the Hunna. We'll be the judge of that when we get a chance to speak with Calbe. You're chasing the wrong thread, Captain. Thanks for the intel. That is for us to decide. Amat Zir has been added to the new contact of the system. We know she is a Hunna agent, but could choose to work for her for black market access and other services. So we've been paid money. We get rep. We lose rep with the Hunna Collective. And she's a contact right here, which is really cool. Groovy. So does she have any other missions for us? Oh, so. Oh, we can't purchase. You got to have a rep of 20, I think. Before we can get a trade permit her with her. But since she's Hana. Oh, she's Syndicate Rychart. So we should, we, it'd be nice to get a trade permit with them. Uh, does she have a mission that's anyway? This person in my trait will drive the types of missions. She's a trait. She's a hunter agent. Two jumps. A data cube at Cadrino Case. Cadrino Case. Which is down here, I think. Where is it? Or why am I so blind on this map? Dark Cluster Hyperion. Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah. It's not far. And we got to go to Fifth Divide anyways. So what do we have to do? Spy. We have to spy again. Oh, no. I'm going to need to spy soon. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's check another mission. Clan Ultimason and the Syndicate Right Charter are wrestling for economic dominance by using trade bans against each other. Troubadour, Celius O'Douglas. These missions will assist in increase 
my influence with him. This is two jumps to Cadrino Case, but all we have to do is what? Crash shuttle on the surface. We'll have to explore. Ooh. Um, here's the problem with explorations. You can run into Xenos, and we don't have anything. We don't have any saving talents against that either. Uh, yeah, we must survey and scan the surface until we find the crash site. Oh. I like this one. Let's accept that one. Let's see if we can get all these missions done in this amount of time. Recruit a smuggler. That'd be great. We can't do it yet. So, Sell intel records. We don't have any. Should be a good person to be have contact with, though. All right. Well, in that case, back to the ship. All right. Then we had this place to go to. Explorer. Acknowledge. And move on. Wow, we're failing everything left and right. Okay. What's going on here? Draven Bear. Prime pilgrimage. Due in two years. Okay, so we have a saving throw here. Prince Caligan believes in being direct and frank. He is sending us directly to Steel Song Prima, where we will petition High Princess Gaia Steel on his and Valencia's behalf. We have a saving throw. Command skill 21. Charisma 30. We'll take the save, too, just in case we need it. I hope that the negotiations have ended to your satisfaction. I love her red hair. Prince Fane extends his thanks for the High Priestess Gaia Steel's direct approach. Please send the royal regards to Prince Fane and his daughter Valencia. It took some time and shadowed halls and stiff meetings without a stiff drink before we were able to meet with the High Princess. She was frank. Prince Fane's move to involve the Arbiter as damaged his standing. We have gained an introduction to High Princess. Ooh. So, we passed it with the command and charisma test by rolling 27 strong dice and half of our attributes. So we didn't need our saving throw. We were paid 9,000 for it. We got four rep with Steel Song. We lost eight rep with the Kadar. Our actions have harmed Aitz and Char and only deepened the mutual enmity between them. So, we get access to various people. We get access to her now. So she has missions and trade permits. And edict. She steals song. Introductions. She can give you con introduction to contacts. But as you can see, we can't do that yet. <clears throat> and what did it say? Can we, as our relationship with improved, the contacts we introduced to will start to be better and better personal reputations. So, all right. Those are the options you have right now. But you don't have anything. She has. Uh, Missions. Does she have anything that could help? Duel of Assassins between uh, Steel Song and Syndicate Rychart. Wing Vet. What's the Wing Vet mission? We're picking up a sealed crate from Steel Song and deliver it to Clan Zenrin. Oh. <laughs> yes, please. That looks easy enough. <laughs> Let's go do that for easy money. Easy money. That's what I want, especially because uh, everything is so costly right now. Because <laughs> we're still failing saving throws. Give us those experience, people. Alright. Probably getting close to the end of this episode, aren't we? In fact, we are. So, this is... We go home to the prince here and uh, drop off the results. 145,000. Now we're making... A little bit of corn here. Okay, so we got both of these things. Polarizing delivery. Over so with well, you got these same options pop up all the time over the over the spice plate. This will give you crew morale, um, or we can get reputation boosted. So we get an additional four rep for the fuss. And since rep is everything, that's how I tend to do things. All right. And now, Prime Pilgrimage. Public meeting, diplomatic audience, so we must bring the exact details of the negotiations of Steel Song Rim back to Callaghan Fane. So we'll do this and we have a saving throw. So they saw the request for Estelle's help as proof of weakness. There were a few friendly voices at the court, but they were not in the majority. Then they will abandon me. Do not let them cow you, Prince. Your family is strong. The Void has no mercy, and each must fight for their own. You speak the truth, Captain. When the time comes, they will see that this old hawk can still bear its claws. 
So we rolled. We didn't need our saving throw. We got 6,000 for it. We got rep. More Kadar hate us. So that all happened. All right. It's not too bad. We got a ton of stuff to do now. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do one more. What is it? Snag blockade runner. That's still a blockade trap. And this polar. This is the delivery. This is easy. This is the easy one. Let's go get some more cash for an easy delivery. All right. Land. Polarizing delivery. Delay in this. Okay. So now we don't have a saving throw or anything. And, and neither one of these are great. Uh, we can hand it over in the spice hall, but it's a perfect place for an ambush. Or we can force the local authorities to come take it, but it's a political insult and may take weeks. I'd rather do the spice hall, and if we have to fight, we'll fight. We've been paid for our part. We have completed our mission. We didn't have to fight, which is good. Okay. Take care of all this stuff. All right. That's the end of episode two. How are y'all hanging in there with me? You having a good time? I hope so. I'm digging it. This game, like I said, has its claws in me. I'm really enjoying it. There's a lot to it. And we're only scratching the surface. I'm playing more of a, a bounty hunter type of character. And I'm going to do a lot of ship combat and a lot of crew combat. You can go through this game completely peacefully just being a trader. Um, you can go through this game focusing on exploration and, and fighting the Xenos. You can go on the game... Go through the game focusing on you know black market and smuggling and spying and stuff like that which is which is more of what i really want to do like my next you could be a pirate if you want to uh there's tons of options and that makes it really really cool so i'm enjoying the hell of it as always if you folks dig it thumbs up leave a question or comment that really helps drive the algorithm i'm told uh subscribe to the channel i appreciate my new patreons got a new patreon after this first episode so thank you so much uh you folks are brilliant I love you. Have a great uh, Christmas vacation and New Year's. I'll keep trying to pump out some episodes between now and New Year's. This looks like it's going to go really well. As always, Colors Fade signing off. Thanks for watching, folks.